Hey everyone! Welcome to the 44th episode of our Sudoku series. In this video, we'll show you how to use advanced techniques to solve a real-life Sudoku puzzle step-by-step. -step. Let's get started. Let's move to number 1. There is no cell that can be filled with number 1, and there is no box where there are only two candidate positions for number 1. Let's skip this number for now. Let's move to number 2. Nothing to do. Let's skip this number for now. Let's move to number 3. Only two positions left in the second box where value 3 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 3 can be placed. There are no other boxes in which the value 3 has only two possible candidate cells. Let's move to number 4. In the first block, the number 4 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 4 can be placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 4 can be placed. Let's move to number 5. Only two positions left in the third box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the first box where value 5 can be placed. In the fifth block, the number 5 can be directly placed. In the seventh block, the number 5 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the first box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 5 can be placed. Let's move to number 6. In the third block, the number 6 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the third box where value 3 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 3, value 3 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in row 1. Only one position left in the second box where value 3 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 6 can be placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 6 can be placed. Let's move to number 7. Only two positions left in the second box where value 7 can be placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 7 can be placed. There is a hidden pair in the box 9. Notice how the candidates 6, 7 occur in only two cells than this. We have two candidates and only two cells where they can be placed in box 9. Therefore, all other candidates can be removed from these two cells. Only one position left in the ninth box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the third box where value 5 can be placed. Let's move to number 8. Only two positions left in the third box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the first box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 1 can be placed. Please note that the cells marked in purple contain number pairs. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 2 can be placed. Let's move to number 9. Only two positions left in the second box where value 9 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 9 can be placed. In the seventh block, the number 9 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the seventh box where value 6 can be placed. Only two positions left in the first box where value 9 can be placed. The next solve techniques need to be based on the candidates. All candidates have been filled in. There is a finned X-wing with value 9 in rows 2 and 4. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. 
it is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. There is an X-wing in rows 1 and 6. Value 9 has to go into either the purple cells or the green cells. This means that candidate 9 can be removed from the other cells in columns 3 and 5. There is an XYZ wing with the pivot cell row 2 column 9. If the value of row 2 column 9 is 8, then value 2 has to be in row 2 column 8. If the value of row 2 column 9 is 1, then value 2 has to be in row 7 column 9. Therefore value 2 is either in row 2 column 9, row 2 column 8 or row 7 column 9. Value 2 can be removed from any cell that shares regions with all three cells in question. There is an X chain consisting of three links in value 1. If one is not in row 8 column 7, then it has to be in row 1 column 7. If one is in row 1 column 7, then it cannot also be in row 1 column 3. If one is not in row 1 column 3, then it has to be in row 9 column 3. Therefore value 1 is either in row 8 column 7 or row 9 column 3. Value 1 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 7, value 1 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in row 9. There is an X chain consisting of three links in value 7. If 7 is not in row 1 column 5, then it has to be in row 3 column 6. If 7 is in row 3 column 6, then it cannot also be in row 3 column 2. If 7 is not in row 3 column 2, then it has to be in row 9 column 2. Therefore value 7 is either in row 1 column 5 or row 9 column 2. Value 7 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is an intersection with another region in row 9, value 7 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in subgrid 7. There is an XY chain with three links that starts at row 3 column 6. This cell has only two candidates, 1 and 7. If the value of row 3 column 6 is not 7 then it has to be 1. Thus 1 cannot also be in row 2 column 4. If the value of row 2 column 4 is not 1 then it has to be 9. Thus 9 cannot also be in row 2 column 2. If the value of row 2 column 2 is not 9 then it has to be 2. Thus 2 cannot also be in row 9 column 2. If the value of row 9 column 2 is not 2 then it has to be 7. That is the very value that started the chain. We have now found that value 7 is either in row 3 column 6, the trivial case, or, by following the chain, in row 9 column 2. Therefore value 7 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. Cell row 3 column 2 is a naked single. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the second column where value 7 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 4, value 7 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 3. There is an X chain consisting of three links in value 2. If 2 is not in row 4 column 2, then it has to be in row 2 column 2. If 2 is in row 2 column 2, then it cannot also be in row 2 column 8. If 2 is not in row 2 column 8, then it has to be in row 6 column 8. Therefore value 2 is either in row 4 column 2 or row 6 column 8. Value 2 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is a sashimi jellyfish with value 2 in columns 1, 3, 6 and 7. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. There is an XY chain with four links that starts at row 2 column 4. This cell has only two candidates, 1 and 9. 
If the value of row 2 column 4 is not 1 then it has to be 9. Thus 9 cannot also be in row 2 column 2. If the value of row 2 column 2 is not 9 then it has to be 2. Thus 2 cannot also be in row 4 column 2. If the value of row 4 column 2 is not 2 then it has to be 9. Thus 9 cannot also be in row 6 column 3. If the value of row 6 column 3 is not 9 then it has to be 7. Thus 7 cannot also be in row 6 column 4. If the value of row 6 column 4 is not 7 then it has to be 1. That is the very value that started the chain. We have now found that value 1 is either in row 2 column 4, the trivial case, or, by following the chain, in row 6 column 4. Therefore value 1 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is a naked pair in row 7. We have two cells in only two possible values to be placed there. The candidate 6, 7 can be removed from all other cells in the same row. There is a W wing in value 1. The two cells are row 6 column 4 and row 3 column 6. If 1 is not in row 6 column 4, then row 6 column 4 must be 7, so that row 7 column 4 cannot be 7. If 7 cannot be in row 7 column 4, then row 8 column 6 must be 7. Because 7 only occurs twice in this box. If row 8 column 6 is 7, then row 3 column 6 must not be 7. So the value 1 has to be in one of these cells, row 6 column 4 or row 3 column 6. It may even be in both. Value 1 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. All remaining numbers can be solved using naked single technique, so there is no need to explain them one by one. This is the final result of the puzzle. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Thanks again for tuning in and happy puzzling!